So the first shirt I'm going to show you guys how to cut is a choker tee. I have been obsessed with these recently and they're really easy to make. The first thing you want to do with the chalk is mark where on the shirt you want the v-neck to go. Next with the ruler, draw the line all the way up the middle of the shirt to the neckline. From the middle point of the neckline, what you're going to do on both sides, from about 2 to 3 inches away, is make two dots. From those two dots, you're going to connect a line from that point to the first dot that you drew. Next, take a pair of scissors and just cut out the entire neck area using the lines you drew as a guide. Make sure you leave the collar on as well as this will act as the choker. two steps are optional but it is what I chose to do with my North Lane shirt. It was really long on me so I decided to crop it a bit which I just did by drawing a line across the bottom and cutting along it. I also wrote the sleeves as a finishing touch. The next shirt I'm going to show you guys how to do is a simple tank top that is cut a little lower on the slides. It's really simple to do and will change any band tee. So first what you want to do is on one side of the shoulder, mark where you'd like the tank top sleeve to end. Next what you need to do is on both sides of the shirt, mark along ideally where you'd like the lower cut side to end. This will make sure you don't cut too far into the front of the tee. The next step is really simple. All you're going to do is take a pair of scissors and cut along those lines that you made as a guideline. And to make sure that both sides are cut equally, what you're then going to do is fold the shirt in half and use the already cut side as a stencil and just cut the other side off. And the last shirt I'm going to show you guys how to cut is a lace-up crop top. The first thing you want to do is pick where on the shirt you want the crop top to end and just two inches below that you're going to make a dot or a line. Next you're just going to draw a line all the way across the shirt using a ruler as well as using the collar as a guide you're going to mark the very middle of the shirt. From the bottom of the shirt where you made the middle mark what you're going to do is just on both sides about five inches away is going to make another dot. This is where the lace up part of your shirt will be going and just extend the line up as far as you'd like it to go. Next what you're going to do is cut off the bottom of the shirt and then make slits along the two lines that you created on the front of the shirt, making sure you're only doing it on the front side and not both. On both sides of the slit you created, using cardboard and a knife, make six holes on both sides of the slit, creating enough room for laces to go through. And finally, all you're going to do is grab any string you want, whether it's ribbon or shoelaces. You're just going to weave it through the holes as you would lacing up a pair of shoes. up sides as well as rolling the sleeves like I'm doing are completely optional but I just thought it would be a nice added detail. So those are three ways to cut your band tees. Make sure you check out my website livelaurent.com and like this video and subscribe to my channel. I make a video every Friday. I'll see you guys next week.